Now joining us live from Akure on those dates to discuss prolonged ASU strike is Professor Olayin Ka Awokwetu, the ASU Chairman Futa. We thank you so much for joining us at this time. Thank you. Good evening. So um, to dive right in, why is it so difficult for ASU to shift grounds with the federal government when students have been at home for about six months now? Uh, well, it is not ASU that is not shifting grounds. It actually is the federal government that is not shifting grounds. After setting up Babalakin Committee in 2017, the renegotiation plan started. And up till now, we are still on it with the third committee set up by the government and government disowned its own committee. It's not ASU. People should talk to the federal government to take education seriously. ASU has shifted all grounds that it will shift. ASU is saying federal government should come back to the negotiation table and let us engage in collective bargaining, not coming to just dish out something as if we are beggars. It can't work like that. Okay, all right. With the negotiation still going on, some people think that the reason there have not been any agreements so far is because ASU is being stubborn because they are not accepting the re the request the federal government has made. Federal government has not made any requests. Even federal government is saying, "Go back to work. We will do this, this, and this." That is not that's not an agreement. That is a promissory note. We have been on it since 2009 on promissory notes. And nobody expects us, the eggheads of this nation, that we will still stay on that promissory note, something that the government has not done in 13 years. And we should go back to work. You see, Nigerians should get one thing clear. If we go back to work and come back in two months or five months time that government has not done it, the whole nation will blame us. So it's better we stick to what we are doing now. When the strike is called off, we know we are back to business. And this, the government threat of they will not pay our salaries is just an empty threat because the students will rise up against them. How do I mean? We will only continue from where our calendar stipulates we should continue. Like in Futa, if the strike is called off today, we are going into leave of 2021 and uh, 2022 and everybody will go on leave and we will start a new session in october and we will never go back to the job of last session who is losing government is just trying to to be funny only god knows who and who are, are advising the ministers they should go back and understand the workings of the university system that's what we have to tell. I have to tell our listeners because it is not as true. The government should be talked to and they should stop all these threats and threats and threats. You can't threaten us to go back to work, it won't work. Hmm. All right, we thank you very much for your time on the news. Thank you. Professor Olayinka Awokwetu, Chairman Asufuta.